He was really endearing, you know, the, the kind of uh, tributes that are pouring in. Uh, many people, uh, I mean, obviously people like you who, 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 who've known him uh, have uh, stories to share about uh, their experience, but even people who did not know him seem to feel the same sense of loss. That was uh, Ratan Tata. And, you know, you were talking about Sea Lounge, the Taj Mahal uh, uh, Palace and Hotel in Mumbai. How do you think Ratan Tata's personality shaped the public perception of the Tata brand and its values? I think it had an overwhelming uh, impact on how people perceive the brand, his personality, and what he represented and what he stood for. And particularly during a crisis, like during the terror attacks in Mumbai, he was the one person, the face of the entire organization, the company, not just representing the uh, uh, group of hotels, but the brand Tata itself, hands on, working with his team, tirelessly helping all those who were trapped, those who were who had lost their lives in his hotel. It was a heartbreaking sight, but also a heartwarming sight uh, to see that uh, person like him uh, being there throughout the night, helping his own people and giving assurances to those who were still inside and their families that he would be there no matter what. This was the kind of person he was. You could approach him. He was just extremely approachable and uh, not in the least bit standoffish. He welcomed conversations in his own very quiet way. And uh, more than anything else, I think it was his compassion for animals. It was his uh, friendship with the stray dogs of our city who were often treated with such negligence, almost cruelty that endeared him to a lot of us who also feel the same way about our four-legged friends, uh, we don't call them pets, who are like family to us, that there would be stray dogs walking in and out of Bombay House. They were always welcome, that there were two or three particular, or maybe five uh, strays who were adopted by Bombay House, looked after by them, that one of his last initiatives was to give our city a state-of-the-art hospital for small animals, which is world class. All this speaks a lot about his uh, vision and his philanthropy, and that he gave the young people uh, a chance to dream big. He, he always said that to the young, and he connected so well with young India. He said to dream big was every young person's right, and they should not stop anything or anyone from uh, curbing their dreams. I think uh, the young connected with him he spoke their language. He was active on uh, Twitter when he decided to join X or Twitter. It really went through the roof because young people found a voice there that they could connect to and they admired. You know, you were talking about uh, the 2611 attacks and uh, um, people are aware of the image of Ratan Tata standing at the Kulaba end, watching the iconic dome of the Taj Mahal uh, Palace Hotel up in flames. You were there when the Taj reopened. What was the That's experience right. like? Would you agree that he's played a substantive role in, uh, you know, how should I put it, in restoring a symbol of Mumbai's uh, enduring spirit? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, every Mumbai car felt so proud. They felt it was like a personal triumph for, for them when the Taj reopened. And it was such a moving, such a deeply thoughtful ceremony that uh, he led. It wasn't just about, hey guys, we are back and this is going to be the most glamorous comeback of all times. A lot, a lot of thinking and a lot of sensitivity had gone into it. Each and every single employee was present at that, uh, uh, at, at that ceremony. It was conducted with utmost dignity and utmost uh, uh, feelings for those who had given up their lives in that hotel. And it was so moving. I, I don't think I'll ever forget that. It was a huge gesture coming from a wonderful man. And it um, reassured not just the people who worked with him, uh, but the entire city and also, also the rest of India, that you don't give in to terror strikes. You do, it does, they do not break your will and they do not dent your pride. Finally, uh, Ms. Day, if you could say one final thing to Ratan Tata today, what would that be? That would just be that we were so blessed to have you in our midst. 
during our lifetime, that he is the true Bharat Ratna of India, a priceless gem, and all of India, I'm sure, shares my sentiments when I say that. Well said, ma'am. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for uh, the anecdotes that you've shared with our viewers.